Welcome to Sport Videos. My name is Douglas Barreto, and today I'm gonna show you how to create a SAP SAP ABAP proxy for a Power Center web service. The objective is to access a Power Center web service from SAP, and the solution is to use a SAP ABAP proxy class. Just as example, I have a small flat file with two options. An ID one is Workbench and two Customizing. These are going to be the values that I'm going to be uh, accessing in my web service. Then I created a data object for that flat file. And then I created a web service for that flat file here i can test it in data viewer sending one and then receiving the response it's working uh, then i deploy it to a dot integration service here i have as an application here i have my uh, web service in the data integration service and important is the WSGL URL that I'm gonna use in SAP. Here in SAP you have to go to SE80 and then click to create an enterprise service uh, choose service consumer Click continue, then I'm going to use URL, click continue, then enter the URL, it's uh, the URL that I just showed you, just copy here and paste there, click continue, then enter a, a package. Uh, prefix if you want uh, the request task this is optional could be a local object hit continue and the wizard is going to create the uh, ABAP prox class for you hit complete and then you have your ABAP proxy class ready to use but first you have to create a port logical port you can use uh, SOA manager I don't have the SOA manager configuring my system so I'm going to use an obsolete transaction but it works as well I just enter the proxy class they just created and the logical port name I'm going to make default, then enter description, and the call parameters, and it's exactly the same URL you, you did, you entered before in the proxy. Just check, you may have some message, but it's over learning, no problem. Um, save it, and activate. And back to your ABAP class, you should be able to test it. Just enter the port you just created. Hit execute. You can close this message. And here you have the two values, the, the XML uh, request ready to, to go. Just hit execute. And here is your response with both values. You could use just one value. And then you can use this uh, class later in your code, for instance, in a body for replacing a value from the web service, for instance. So we show you how to access a web service from SAP. 
uh, you just have to create an enterprise service type service consumer in SE80 and create a logical port for the ABAP proxy class in SOA manager or LP config. Uh, any questions, please uh, email us at supportvideo.informatica.com or access our account in Twitter. Thank you.